So here is my grid optional GrowWatt system installed. Over here on the left we have the PV circuit coming in to the gutter. We have the GrowWatt inverter. On the right side we have a DC combiner for the PV circuits. And on the bottom we have a DC battery bank. And I'll be opening these up in a second. Okay, here we have everything opened up. Down here we have some batteries. These are sealed lead acid. It's about 90 amp hours between them. They're a 48 volt battery bank. And from there, it goes into our one inch conduit up into a gutter. We have a breaker here. So we got a 100 amp breaker here on the side for the DC 48 volt side of things. And we've got connections back there for both grid in and grid out. All of you electricians out there, leave me alone. I know I didn't put a cord grip or anything on there. DC in from the array, which runs over to a DC combiner for the photovoltaic side of things. And then that comes back down and comes into these lovely tight connections. One of the good and bad things about the GrowWatt is you have an AC in, but it is tight to get those conductors in there. I mean, that's my finger in comparison. Really tight. And then you have a whole other set of AC conductors behind it to get in there as well. On the DC input side for the photovoltaic, a number six, but it is still tough to get those number sixes to fit where you want them. And then behind all of them, that's a half inch conduit back there. You'll see the half inch conduit right here. That is one DC conductor and a half inch conduit. So definitely tight but it does the job so got to give it credit